what's up? It's DJ Rockstar. Uh, we have a call in. Hello. Hi. This is apparently a, a huge fan of my show, right? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, totally. This you, is, uh, you, you, know, you can pretend, dude. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sorry, I just got confused. Uh, well, now we're on the air. How about that? Alright, we're, we're on the air. So you gotta talk a little louder, apparently. It's not, your voice is really low. Okay. So, give us the intro. Tell us who you are and everything we need to know before we get to the detailed questions. Alright, um, I'm Ryan. I play guitar for Panic at the Disco. <laughs> give us a little uh, a little background history on the band. Kids saying, who the yeah. hell is that? Alright, um, we started about uh, almost a year and a half ago. And we're from Las Vegas, Nevada. And right now we're in College Park, Maryland, recording our record with Matt Squire. Now, a lot of bands go from wherever in the world to Los Angeles, maybe even Las Vegas. Why did you go to Maryland? Um, we just, uh, we thought about a lot of producers and we just really love what Matt has done. And working with him is awesome. We totally made the right decision. Um, like, he's just really good, he's really smart musically, and I don't know, it's going to be good, it's going to sound good. How far along are you guys right now? Uh, we just finished drums today, and we started doing bass tomorrow. We've been here almost two weeks, we did pre-production for like uh, seven days, and then drums for four. Not bad. Yeah, so, 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 so far. So how does it work with the band? When, once the drums are done, do you make a drummer come every day and, and watch you, or is he free to go? Uh, I don't know. He's been kind of rubbing it in that he doesn't have to come. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll probably sleep in and then uh, do some laundry. And I might show up at the studio. Who knows? So. Weird. And where are you guys staying with Matt, or where, where's your... Uh, no, he, uh, he has an apartment for the band that come down. So it's like... I don't know, five or ten minutes from the studio. So that's good. <laughs> not bad, not bad. So how much longer do you think you have in the studio? How, how long do the kids have to wait till you finally hear this stuff? Um, we're going for a release date uh, September 27th right now. And it's either going to be that or October 11th. They're not exactly sure when yet. But one of those two. Not bad. Yeah. And uh, one of the listeners wants to know, ask Ryan, how long until we get to Kansas? How long until the next sign? Uh, <laughs> um, not really sure. We drove through Kansas on the way up here, but not sure when we'll be back. I'm sure we'll be back in the fall. So what's, what's the, uh, do you have any big surprises up your sleeve? Once the album's done, is gonna, are you guys going to take over the radio? What's like the, the first thing you're going to do with the album? Uh, take over the radio, take over everything, you know. Um, do you have a plan? Do you have a gimmick? No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> haven't, we haven't figured out, like, exactly what we're doing right after we're done recording, but uh, we're doing the Fall Out Boy starting line tour in the fall, and we're going to be doing some stuff before that as well. Um, but we're just trying to figure that out right now. And do you already have, like, a, a good hardcore following? Do you already have the, the kids that follow you from show to show? I'm not really sure. It's kind of weird. Um, we're kind of uh, wondering what the show would be like, too. Because most people that know about us just have heard stuff about us from that. I don't know. Like, I really have no idea how many people will actually come out to see us and stuff. So the Internet is helpful. Do you think that, that, I mean, that helped out a lot with getting the word out about the band? Oh, yeah, totally. I mean... Uh, that's like how we got signed with the internet like that's how everyone's heard of us so definitely definitely good for the internet I think if they're going to maybe you know post some new songs online like most fans do before the album comes out or even save them uh, yeah I I think we'll probably do that I I want to do that did you pick um, it <laughs> sorry that'll probably happen did you pick your uh, your favorite song yet that you've recorded? Is there anything that you're you know, uh, really excited about over different ones? There's a couple. I don't know. I can't really say a favorite, but I don't know. Like three or four are like tied right now. What about the other ones? Are you happy with everything, you think? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to tell right now. There's a bunch of stuff that we still are kind of trying to finish up writing and stuff that we want to change, but um, I don't know. Overall, it's, it's going well. I'm always kind of stressed out, though. I like worry about every single detail, so. That's not good. Yeah. <sighs> but, yeah, I, I don't know. It's going well. I'm just always worried, so. Do you have time to relax? I mean, do you guys go out at night in D.C. or Maryland? What do you guys do when you're not recording? Um, last night was actually the first night since we've been here that we did anything, like, at all. We went to see, uh, War of the World. Oh, no, I heard that was, that was pretty awful, then. Well, the special effects were cool, but, uh, we were just kind of going crazy. Like, all we do is go to the studio, like, all day, and then we come home and go to sleep, so kind of wanted to go out and do something, but we don't really, we don't do much. We don't party at all. No, no. Like, come home and, like, eat and then, like, maybe shower and sleep. That's, like, every day we do the same thing, so. And what's your favorite part of the day? Even if it is repetitive, do you have, like, a, you know, the thing you look forward to the most every day? Um, I really like showers. You really like showers, that's good. I love showers. I, I don't know. And it's like one of the only places where you have any privacy all day. I don't know. Probably showering and then like when we get to do this fun stuff at the studio, like uh mess around with drum sounds and like effects and all that stuff is probably but there's a lot well not anymore since I'll probably use this here since we're starting guitar soon, but there's a lot of downtime, so Okay. The people are saying Hot Topic loves Panic at the Disco. Hot Topic? Yes. That's probably our friend Dan from Hot Topic. Is yeah. it, does the screen name end with 247? Uh, I think so. That might be it's him. It's gotta be him. So give him a shout out, he's listening to you. Oh, what's up, Dan? You know you got one listener, right? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> be happy about that. So what you, I mean, once you're done recording, are you gonna, yeah, are you gonna shower more often? Are you gonna sleep less? What, what do you think's gonna change? You're in such a, like, you're like in a pattern right now, I guess, huh? Yeah, uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be showering less and sleeping less uh -huh. and driving more. That's about it. Um, and playing shows, which is gonna be fun. And do you guys all rotate through drives, or is there one person in the band you trust over the other people? Uh, no, like on the way up here is pretty much like everybody rotating, so, no. still kind of, kind of new to us, but. New to driving or just new in general? Uh, the driving, for like, because it was like, we never took any long trips at all, and then like, our first one was completely all the way across the country, so, uh, yeah, that was kind of, it's kind of different, but it was really cool. To do. And you learned, and now you're ready. I hope so. I think. You're ready for the drive, right? Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> they want to know before we go. Uh, they want to know if you can reveal any new song titles from the CD. Um. Yeah. I guess so. I don't. Uh, we have one song called "I Constantly Thank God for Everyone." All right. That's one. We're still working on them, but. Yeah, sorry. Sorry we don't have more right now. <laughs> but they will amaze. What? You, you believe in these songs, but people will be happy when, when this Yeah, I, I really hope so, because uh, we'll put a lot of work into it, so hopefully we're not the only ones that end up liking it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude, before we go, plug the website and everything you got so kids know where to check out. Oh, uh, all right, yeah. Um, well, Panic at the Disco, the website is panicatthedisco.com, and we have MySpace, and yeah. Your volume, Panic at the Disco. And uh, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. That's it. That's all you need to know. Cool, dude. Well, thank you. This is your second interview ever, right? So I'm excited. No. Thanks a lot for having me. Awesome. Before you go, do us all one favor, everybody listening. Give us your name, the name of the band, and you are listening to DJ Rockstar. All right. Um, this is Ryan from Panic at the Disco, and you're listening to DJ Rockstar. Awesome, dude. Take care. We look forward to your CD. All right. Thanks, man. See you.